Well, you guys got a quick video here for you on resolving no internet on your computer now this is probably one of the most common problems that people uh, come to face uh, on a computer where they lose their internet access now this is sometimes not generated by your computer it's to do with your ISP and you may be looking at your router and the router may be displaying all the correct um, lights on the front to say that you are connected and you may assume that your computer is at fault when really it's to do with your ISP so let's go down to the bottom right here you can see I have no internet connectivity I'm going to right click on this and hit troubleshoot problems first just to see what it detects so let this run and this will do a bunch of tests on your network to try to resolve any uh, network problems that you may be having now this is your first clue which will normally tell you uh, roughly what the problem could be so what we're going to do here is just let this run and uh, let it run its test. Now sometimes what can happen is your ISP is not delivering a DNS service to you. All of a sudden that can play up or fail and you will then lose service. And this is quite a common issue. So changing your DNS will sometimes resolve the issue very quickly. Now if you're looking for much more complex uh, fixes for other issues then I've done videos on that and I'll put the links uh, in the video description for you but you can see here we've got uh, the default gateway is not available and that tells me roughly uh, what I need to know so I'm going to close that off here and uh, we open up a browser here and you may think that we've got internet here so let me just quickly do a web browser search for say BBC Sport no internet and you can see here DNS is the issue here so it's pointing towards DNS no internet Straight away that tells me that we've got a DNS problem and what I'm going to do is try to change the DNS to resolve the issue. Now this is probably one of the most easiest fixes you can do to quickly resolve an issue. Now you see no internet access, not connected and that can cause quite a bit of concern for some people and they may be thinking uh, there's something more sinister going on with their system. So what we're going to do here is change our adapter pro properties or options here go into here and you should see your network adapter is trying to identify a network can't do it right click on it and go to properties here what we're going to do is go down to TCP IP 4 and uh, go into here and you can see here there's an option for obtain a DNS server uh, address automatically we're just going to temporarily change this to Google DNS and this is going to be a figure of 8888 and then 8844 and you'll probably find that this will start to work and we will be back up and running now this is a great way to get back up online until your ISP resolves the uh, DNS issue now I do know that uh, Virgin are plagued with DNS issues so if you do have this issue and you're on Virgin then this is the quickest fix you can get so you can see we are connected now and also down the bottom right hand side we have got internet connectivity it says we've got internet and you can see we're connected here and we are now connected up the top here so it's a simple solution as that so it's not really a big major problem it's just something that people overlook when they've got network issues so let's go to the internet here just to see where it's connected and it is and there we go it's that simple so what you can do is use this quick fix until your ISP uh, resolves the issue you can check your network status for your local area or your router and it will tell you that there's a problem with the DNS and you will need to change it so normally that is the quickest way to resolve a quick issue uh, like a DNS problem like that now sometimes uh, it doesn't give you all that information you just have to work that out for yourself and it's not that difficult uh, but if you've got a more sinister problem like a network issue like a network driver issue or something like that or you've had malware on the system then that's another problem altogether this is just a really quick fix for no internet access anyway hope this one helps you out my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching i know it's a pretty basic video but hopefully it'll help someone out anyway thanks again bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos